It's a very powerful thing to stand next to an eruption. And the lava flow coming out of it was spewing out of the vent like doomsday scenario film. We specialize in chemistry of what volcanoes emit into the atmosphere. So volcanoes, you can think of them as big polluters. And we were trying to help the hazard assessment of this particular eruption. I was contacted by US Geological Survey and we had to put the team together really, really quickly. I think for me, being part of the all-female team was there were really no egos involved. People did the jobs that they had to do. A lot of what we were doing was actually basically DIY. We had to build instruments from scratch, work out how to attach them to the drone. And often when you're in a male team, men often sort of try and do those bits when actually we're all perfectly capable of doing a bit of DIY. We didn't really see ourselves as an all-women team. And it's really cool that we're an all-women team but we were just a team of volcanologists. Volcanology, from my perspective and my experience, is a really popular subject. The problem probably comes later in life, in career progression, where other life commitments might get in the way of being in the field. In science subjects such as ours, which is very field work heavy, just society in general needs to be more understanding of people with families and make things like maternity leave, subsidised childcare even more widely available and better. Part of the reason why I decided to do a PhD is because I got to work with such amazing female scientists so we have been quite lucky in our experience and it's easy to sort of live in a bubble where we think that maybe this is normal and it should be normal but maybe it isn't quite yet in every discipline and field of science.